Hi there. For this topic, we're going to look at different case studies about tropical storms, starting with Hurricane Katrina. So the effects of Hurricane Katrina. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit Mississippi and Louisiana, which are American states in the USA. The effects were severe, with New Orleans suffering particularly badly. Now, New Orleans is a city in Louisiana and it's on the coast in the Gulf of Mexico. And this suffered particularly badly because its flood defences failed. Let's have a look at the different effects, primary and secondary. So the primary effects were over 1,800 people died, 300,000 houses got destroyed, the electricity supply has been 3 million people were cut off, 80% of the city of New Orleans was flooded, flooded, coastal habitats were damaged and bridges collapsed. And then there were some secondary effects as well. Hundreds of thousands of people became homeless and people were sent all across America without homes to go to. Damage to businesses caused 230,000 jobs to be lost. Sewage and chemicals contaminated food supplies and the estimated total cost, the damage that was caused, was around $150 billion. This is a huge sum to recover from. Let's just do a quick recap of that then. What were the secondary effects of Hurricane Katrina? Well, there was the damage that was $150 billion. These are secondary effects. There was the pollution of water supplies. 230,000 jobs that were lost and hundreds of thousands of people were made homeless. Now, what year was Hurricane Katrina? This was in August 2005. Now, let's look at some of the responses to Hurricane Katrina. So, the severe effects of Hurricane Katrina were met with both immediate and long term responses. The immediate responses were that 70 to 80% of the inhabitants of New Orleans were evacuated in advance. More than 50,000 people were rescued. <clears throat> by the Coast Guard, fire service, police and army. Charities then provided aid to those affected and states of emergency were declared in Mississippi and Louisiana. In these places, emergency shelters and control centres were set up and supplies were stockpiled before the hurricane hit land. In the long term, $16 billion was provided by the US government to rebuild homes. $14.5 billion was spent on repairing and New Orleans' flood defence systems, which, which broke, um, causing lots of flooding. Then the US Army advised that building in, that lower lying areas should ideally not be built on, and if they were built on, buildings should be put on stilts. Let's have a quick recap of that. The immediate response to Hurricane Katrina were that 70 to 80 percent of New Orleans residents were evacuated. Charities collected donations and provided aid. More than 50,000 more than 50,000 people were rescued, and states of emergency were declared. Let's have a quick recap of the primary and secondary effects of Hurricane Katrina. One primary effect was that 300,000 houses were destroyed. A secondary effect was that 230,000 jobs were lost. Another secondary effect was that hundreds of thousands of people were made homeless. And the final primary effect was that 1,800 people died. After Hurricane Katrina, $14.5 billion was spent on repairing and improving New Orleans' flood defences. Let's have a quick recap of the response to Hurricane Katrina. $16 billion was provided to rebuild homes. $14.5 billion was spent repairing and improving New Orleans' flood defences. More than 50,000 people were rescued and 70 to 80% of New Orleans' residents were evacuated.